In 1875, while Wyatt Earp was Marshal of Wichita, many Indian tribes like the Comanches, the Apaches, and the Sioux had refused to make peace with the United States government. This warfare was to reach its climax a year later when the Sioux and their allies massacred General George Custer and his men in the Battle of the Little Bighorn. But for many months prior to this tragedy, renegades were selling contraband rifles to the unpacified tribes. Marshal Earp? Yes, sir. Captain Benteen, 7th Cavalry. Oh. What can I do for you, sir? Well, here's a message from two Indian friends of yours. The Indian carrying it was wounded. Our patrol found him. Oh, it's for Mr. Brother and Mr. Cousin. Oh, sit down. Thank you. Well, they've been uh, very good friends. We feel the same way about them, Mr. Earp. We've used them as scouts. Now they've been nabbed by the Hoss Daggett gang, if we've read the message right. Oh, the Daggett's operate in Oklahoma territory, don't they? Well, isn't the Army doing something about this? Well, we've signed peace treaties with the Cheyennes, the Pawnees, and the Osage. Washington doesn't want us to go into Oklahoma territory with troops. The Indians would resent it. But it's uh, all right for me to go in there, huh? Well, that's why I'm here. The General wants to deputize you as a United States Marshal. Now, you'll need a good posse. Daggett's never have less than 50 guns in their outfit. Mm. Now, this is merely an official request, not an order, Mr. Earp. Of course, if you feel that you lack the experience. Well, Captain, when you have friends that are in trouble, you try and help them. I was just wondering uh, why Daggett grabbed them. Well, we don't know, except that it must be big medicine. Hoss Daggett isn't holding the brother of Yellowhand and the cousin of many battles without a very serious reason. Well, Hoss is liable to get himself scalped. Well, I'm glad you realize this isn't any 10 TP affair, Mr. Earp. Your friends may have extremely valuable information. Also, we can't have Yellowhand and many battles on the warpath. But, uh, as I said, if, if you feel that a man with more experience... No, I'll go. Uh, you got the paper deputizing? Right here. The government will pay for your posse and all necessary expenses. Good. I'll go tonight. That soon? Well, the general's usually right. He says that when two smart Indians appeal to a white man for help, they usually pick the best one they know. Good luck, Mr. Earp. Thank you, Captain. Just a minute! Just a minute! Bring that back! Oh, come on, Doc. Get out of the way, will you? These are heavy. I know it's heavy. It's valuable, too. Shut it down there, Wyatt. I want to talk to you. Oh, now, come on. We've been through this before. Yeah, I know. You're a pretty fast talker, Wyatt. I must say, the more I think about your idea, the less I like it. What's going on, Doc? Moving? Moving, he says. No, but I might as well be moving. I let this crazy man talk me out of $850 of good, fresh medicines. Uh, sounds like a story here. Well, no, juice. it's nothing for publication. It's a government job. I'm taking this medicine into the Oklahoma Territory. He's not only committing suicide, he admits it. Come on, let's hear it. All right, Mr. Brother and Mr. Cousin are in trouble. Who? Well, they're two Indian friends of mine, and they got themselves nabbed by the Horse Daggett gang. Well, why all the medicine? Well, I'm going to go in there disguised as a patent medicine doctor. It's the only way I can get into the Daggett camp. It's pretty risky to try and save two Indians. I not only lose my medicine, but I also lose my good and former friend, Wyatt Earp. Oh, don't give me that stuff. You know this hogwash isn't worth a cent, and you know it. All the drug houses send them free samples. Only 5% of free samples. Besides, who's going to believe you're a doctor? You know, you look terrible. I feel terrible. Well, stop that. 
That's the way he hypnotized me into agreeing to do this thing in the first Don't place. Don't move, friend. This is your lucky day. Yes, sir, come in a little closer. Now, this is your lucky day, sir, because I am going to give you absolutely free one large size bottle of Dr. Livermore's kidney remedy. Oh, now, don't thank me, sir. No, sir. After all, I always say, what's money compared to a happy kidney? <laughs> oh, if I can save you, sir, uh, uh, what's the rest of it? If I can save you, I will not have passed this way in vain. Oh, yeah, if I can save you, I would have not have passed this way in vain. That's good, wife. <laughs> it would be very funny if it weren't so tragic. I've written columns about the Daggers, Flat. They're real bad people. That's right. You tell him. If you must go, take a posse. Oh, no posse. What did those Indians ever do to justify your risking your life? Well, they tracked Bill and Ben Thompson in the bushwhacker country near Ellsworth, wasn't they? They risked their lives. I can hire Indians to track anybody anywhere for $5. I ain't gonna let you do it, Wyatt. Well, there's nothing you can do to stop me. Well, sir, I've been deputized the United States Marshal, and I have the authority to seize any supplies that I deem necessary for the performance of my duty. So you're going to beat me down with words again, huh? Well, look, why don't you just consider it as a loan? If I have to sell any of that stuff to make it look legitimate, why, well, you'll be getting all the proceeds. That is, of course, providing that, uh, as you say, that medicine is harmless. What? Why, I'll take a dose out of each and every one of these bottles. It's 90% grain alcohol. Get me a spoon. Never mind, I, I take your word for it. Uh, what's in the other 10%? It's calomel and quinine. It won't cure anybody, but it won't kill them either. <laughs> Come on, let's get on with our loading. You want to help, Mr. Murnock? Wouldn't dare say no. Be careful of the way you handle that one. It's full of loud in them. Full of what? Loud in them. It's a sleeping potion. Drop that and the whole county will go to sleep. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Hey, how, uh, how do I distinguish it? You distinguish it by the white line on the outside of the box. And on the inside, the bottles are labeled Dr. Poster's Insomnia Remedy. Well, I can't leave that one behind. You ain't leaving anything behind. Brother, still feel bad? Yes. Stomach. Why don't he try some of that whiskey? Too sick. Mr. Daggett, you let me go for a doctor. Oh, I've already sent for one. It's a long trip. First you get the misery's cousin, and now brother. You know, a suspicious man who wasn't your friend might think you were fooling. No, true. Time's awful short. You're holding up a big deal on them rifles. Anything wrong with the deal, cousin? You say, go north, talk to Sitting Bull. Tell Sitting Bull you have many rifles. Good rifles, Winchesters. But Sitting Bull, friend with my cousin, many battles. He is friend with his brother, Yellowhead. But Sitting Bull, not your friend, Mr. Daggett. We've been over all that before. I never cheated Sitting Bull. If he bought cheap trade guns that blew up, he didn't buy them from me. Sue people angry. You cheat them, I pay. He pay. I told you the rifles are good. You show me rifles, Mr. Daggett. You calling me a liar? No. I asked to see rifles two, three day now, I ask. How do I know you'll go through with your part of the deal? You might tell the soldiers. We are two, long way from our people. You have many fighter. We don't want to die. All right, I'll show you the rifles. No oh, friend, name's Dr. Turner, but uh, I'll be very happy to help all of you. Uh, you carry Madam Porter's female tincture? Madam Porter's uh, tincture? Yeah. Well, uh, oh, I got the uh, elixir, but not the uh, not the tincture. Oh. Uh, your wife in a dilapidated condition? Uh, no wife, Doc. Oh. Uh, let me see the elixir. You want to see the elixir? Yeah. Yes, sir, friend. I got everything here you need. You got to open the boxes, though. Huh. I got to keep them closed, banging around there in the road a little oh. bit. Oh, Joe. Let's see. Uh... Ah, <laughs> here we are. First try. <laughs> uh, got a lot of boxes there. Uh, I think you'll like it. 
This is strong as a tincture? Oh, it's much more powerful. Yes, sir, friend. That's 90% uh, pure grain alcohol. Well, give her a taste. Yeah. It'll cost you 50 cents, Fred. In advance? Well, I'm not running a charity here. <laughs> no, sir, friend. Well, it better be good. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's fine. Oh, yeah, I knew you'd like it. Uh, I'd well, well, be very happy. You've got more in advance, man. Oh, I've got a lot in advance. Well, anyway, I've been thinking of heading in the Oklahoma Territory. I understand they got, well, quite a spell of the collar morbus in the nation. Yep. Got a spell of the daggets, too. The daggets? What's that? Old man horse daggett and his crowd. Sound like outlaws. I'm a great respecter of you traveling doctors. That's why I'm warning you. Stay wide of the daggers. Uh, well, uh, where do they hang out? Over in the dry gout section, just over the line. You ought to go straight to Wewoka on the Cherokee Trail. <laughs> I sure will, friend. I'm not looking for any trouble. Now, I sure do thank you for warning me. Well, I guess I better be getting on. Dr. Turner. I'm selling medicines. Just a patent medicine peddler. Yeah, so he says. Better take him in for a horse to look at. That's a nice team of horses he's driving. Yeah. You better be what you claim to be, Doc. Old man Daggett don't like to be lied to. Come on, get him going. I hope you get real sick. Go on, help yourself. This one's mine. Hey, cut it out. This one's mine. Oh, no, we missed for first pick. Turn loose of that horse. I'll if I will. Next time, I'll put one through your skull. Now, water them horses good and tie them up. They're mine. What do you call yourself? Dr. Turner. Daggett's the name. Horse Daggett. Ain't you got no better sense than to drive that dry gulch after dark? No, I guess not. Well, it's not bad stuff, Doc. Quit that! You might be drinking poison, you fools. Go on, clear out of here. <laughs> oh, we're not as bad as we're made out. Well, that's real nice to know. You're a real doctor, and just straight in here by mistake, you can have your team back. And I'll make the boys pay for the medicine they took. Sounds fair enough. Why, sure. I gotta be awful careful, Doc. See, I'm kind of like your patients. I hanker to keep on living. I can't say I blame you for that. Speaking of patients, I've got a sick friend on my hands. He's got miseries in his stomach. Maybe I can help him. Of course, you can't never tell about engines. Fella might be faking. Your friend Indian? Sorry, that lets me out. How's that? Don't like Indians, I won't treat them. Yeah? Well, you're gonna like this one. And you're gonna doctor him. I do a lot of business with Indians, Doc. Get up. My friend's in the shack. He's got a pal with him. You're paying a call, Doc. I'm not going to like it. What's wrong with him? Cholera morbus, I think. Can't be appendix. Stomach's not rigid. I better go get some medicines. Are you sure he ain't just putting on? Look like I told you, I don't like Indians, but this one's sick. How sick? Well, I don't know. What do you expect, a complete prognosis in two minutes? Take it easy, Doc. I just want for brother to get well. We've got a deal pending on it. Well, him. I don't care nothing about your deal, but if you want this man back up on his feet, you're going to have to do like I tell you. Sure, Doc. Sure. Now, just let me get my medicines. Guard, 
Sleep. All sleep except men on outposts. Uh, good. Now, uh, Mr. Brother, not really sick, huh? Nah, nah. See, Simmons. Not because. Not because Erp she called me. He says he knew our friend Mr. Erp would come. He's happy. She copy? She copy. She copy. She copy. Sis to you, it's gone Dagat Waganasi. He wants to know when we kill Dagat. Get away from here. Huh. Well, you tell him I, uh, I haven't worked out a plan yet. But he should still play sick, but not so sick. And that when Dagat comes, he should uh, stand up, but not be able to walk. You understand? Ate te bialto baka haizo Dagat piano. Piano. Uh, he wants to know where you're gonna. <laughs> you tell him I got him hid in the wagon. And uh, you also tell him we can't shoot our way out of here. There are too many men. We'll have to use some kind of trick. Ah, Nagalim Bacaldo. Legan Thrysen, Waganasi. 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 I'm gonna try and get some shut eye. I'll be back first thing come sun up. You men try and get some sleep. Te home. Te home. Te home. Te home. My good friends. Hey, Doc. What you doing? None of your business. If you must know, I'm trying to find the right drug for your Indian friend. Men sure mess things up. I uh, don't need to get sore, Doc. How is brother? Well, he's improving. He just let me alone. I think I could get him cured in a few days. All right, Doc. I'll turn in. That's how much I trust you. You better trust me. Another six hours delay, and brother had been a dead Indian. Gosh, Doc. Thanks. Uh, good night. Doc in there? Yeah, he's in there. Hey, he does feel better. I told you he did. Come on. Sit up, see if you can walk. You want one there, huh? Awful week. But we thank you for bringing good doctor. We make deal. Good, good. How soon will brother be able to ride a horse? Couple days. Not soon enough. Ya nehe. No, no. But we could travel north in wagon with good doctor. You could, but you won't. Hey, that's a good idea. It's no idea at all. In the first place, I don't travel with Indians. In the second place, I'm heading south, not north. You're heading where I say, doc. Brother and cousin have important business north. Ah, oh, don't be stupid. I'm not going to go... Shut up, Doc. Might be a lot simpler if you fellas took that wagon without him. No. Mr. Brother, too sick. May need doctor. We wait. Oh, no, no, no. We've wasted too much time already. Doc will go with you. I'll send a couple of boys along to make him behave. Good. We start. Giving you a break, Doc. Brother and cousin get to where they're going. You can have your team and wagon. You act real nice, you'll still be alive. Thanks. All right, let's get brother in the wagon. No. Oh. No. Oh. All right, fellas, get that blanket fixed. Help brother in the wagon. Come on, brother. Up you go. Whoop. Jack, you ride inside. Ollie, ride your horse and outside guard. Cousin, you drive. Doc will ride up front with you. Go on, get in the wagon. Don't worry about Doc. If he gives you any trouble, Jack will give him a good pistol weapon. Doctor's smart man, Mr. Daggett. He knows this only way he stay alive. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I just want a drink. Do you mind? It's 90% alcohol. Just one. That's enough. Get him out of here. Hello. 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 Dagger, 
Tiger thought he got my only bottle. Well, here's the horse, Tiger. No, you don't. Give me that. Smells like good liquor. Hey, hold it up there. Hey, Jack, give me a drink of that. Oh, we don't want none of this. Smells better than it tastes. I'll be the judge of that. Give me. Come on, come on, come on, give it back. You don't want to get drunk in the job. I'll tell horse. Give me that pot. All right, all right. Come on, let's get going. We got a long way to go. Come on, come on. The... A lot of them work. He sleep nice. Slow down. I want to take care of Ollie. Stop. I gotta catch that horse. Why you not shoot a horse? Never did nothing to me. Neither did him. Come on. Let's get him off the wagon. Mr. Brother. Make his gun, Matt. All right. Get him going. That's Ollie's horse. Something's happened, man. Let's go. Double-crossing red ragglers. They must have been in cahoots with that doc all the time. Back in the engines! Kill him! Ah! We can't outrun him. Where can we make a fight? Up golly, we shoot from rocks. Go ahead and turn him. They don't think we're going to fight. Let them work in close, and then start shooting slow and steady. You not shoot? No, this is going to be your fight. We thank you. All right, let them have it. Mine. Bueno. Let his men carry him away. I think we can go the rest of the way at a slow trot. Caught a gunfire across the line. Was that you? Yeah, we had a little uh, run-in with the Daggett gang. They're camped in a dry gulch down their ways. They have many rifles they plan to sell. Sell where? Up north, Sitting Bull. Thank you. That's all we need to know. Well, good job, Marshal Irvin. Forward! Oh! Well, he cleaned up the country, the old Wild West country. He made law and order prevail. And 
None can deny it, the legend of Wyatt forever will live on the trail. 